back to my channel if you're new here my name is chloe and today i'm going to be doing my very last high school school supplies haul i'm actually kind of sad that this is my last ever high school one if you don't know i'm in year 12 and in australia that means that that is the last year of your high schooling and then you move on to university i'm excited to leave high school and pursue the career that i've wanted to pursue since i was like five and then it's also sad because it means that i'm like growing up i'm going to show you guys what i picked up yesterday so first of all, I'm going to tell you guys what subjects I'm doing. So I'm doing dance, design, general mathematics, English, media art, business. And there's this thing called personal development, which isn't really a subject. You don't even get graded for it. So half of the books that I have this year are actually from last year because I didn't really write that much in them. And I don't want to buy brand new books if I've only written like five pages in them. With the subjects that actually need books this year, I'm continuing with those books for the same subject. And then I bought some other books as well for new books that I needed. This is the pencil case that I used last year and I'm actually going to use it again this year. It's from Target. I think I got it for like $5. It's just this navy blue with these triangles on it. It's super cute and I managed to fit everything inside. It's pretty spacious. I also actually really like the white zip. So most of my school supplies I am continuing to use again this year because again I didn't really use them that much last year. So I have my highlighters. I just have these cute pastel colors. There's a light blue, pink, green and purple. They're actually so cute. I highly recommend this brand. It's the Stabilo Boss. From Officeworks, you can get bigger packs of these with different colors, which are also really cute. I just stuck with the four, but four is pretty much all I need. I also find pastel colors a really cute way to make your book fun because no one really likes just like the normal highlighter colors. I recommend these if you want some fun in your school books. I have a glue stick, which is from last year because I didn't use it at all. This is from Officeworks. I'm pretty sure it was like $1 or something. It's just the Study Mate brand. Well, at my high school anyway, I I've never really used a glue stick, maybe in grades 7 and 8. Also from last year, I had a bunch of these Artline pens for design. I have the 0.4 fine. I think for a pack of like 4, it's like $10 from Officeworks, which is actually pretty good. You can also see how much they are separately and then add them up and see which one's cheaper. And then I also have the medium 0.6 to outline my drawings just to add depth and focus to them. I highly recommend this brand. Next, I have some Sharpies for design, which I actually don't really use at all. Kind of a waste. I would probably get more markers than I would like Sharpies. But I have orange, yellow, green, blue, two blacks and a purple. And then I have color pencils. Again, I don't use these much. These are the Norris Color Stedler brand. They're so good. They have like this rubbery thing on the outside so it doesn't really hurt your hands too much when you're coloring. My brothers have had these every single year and they don't want to switch to any other pencils. If they come in a pack of 12, you can also get a pack of like 24 I'm pretty sure. Next, I have three lead pencils. Again, I don't really use lead pencils that much. And if I ever need more, I can just steal them off my brothers. They have like 24 pencils for one year. I highly recommend this brand. It is the Stedler Tradition H. It just feels really nice to draw with. And then I kind of like these Columbia ones. They're not my all-time favorite. Everything that I have here today you can get from Officeworks except for this. I have this foldable ruler. Foldable rulers for high school are the best thing ever. You can literally just fold it up and put it in your pencil case. I think grade 7 to 9 I didn't have this. And I would have like this long ruler and I'd just put it in my bag. And then every time that I needed it I would just pull it out separately from my pencil case and I'd always forget it. So having it in your pencil case is super good. I got this this from Officeworks. They only have clear ones at the moment. It's like $3. I have this liquid whiteout again from Officeworks. I have this one from last year. That is all of the stationery that I already had from last year. Now I'm going to show you guys the books that I am going to continue using. So I'm going to be continuing to use this display journal. It is a 120 page A4 visual art diary and it just has all of my design stuff in there. And I've barely even used it this year. I still have over half the book. You can get this exact one from Officeworks. It is just the Scott brand. Next I have this polka dot book which I actually didn't use at all last year. It's completely blank. I'm going to be using this for English. I got this 
from Officeworks. I'm pretty sure it's like $3.95 for these cute books. I love how this has the little elastic so that it doesn't fly open and get all crinkled. It's the Otto brand. And then the last book is this pineapple one, which you would have seen in my school supplies haul last year if you watched it. But again, it's just the same thing. It's been used a little bit. I'm using this for dance. I've already used it for dance, hence why I'm using it again for dance. And this has this little elastic thing. It is by the Keji brand. Now I'm going to move on to the things that I bought yesterday. First of all, I got this Milan pencil sharpener. It actually has a pencil sharpener in one end. In the other end, it has an eraser, which I thought was really cute. This is from Officeworks. I'm pretty sure it was like $2 or something. Next, I got this 32 gigabyte USB. I did have a white one last year, but my dance teacher still has that. We had to submit something on a USB. It has a lot more gig. I think this was like $3 from Officeworks. Next, I got staples for my stapler because last year I bought a $15 stapler by accident and I ran out of staples like half way through last year and I really couldn't be bothered getting any more so this year I am prepared to staple my work because I just found it so much more practical to use my own stapler when stapling assignments and stuff. I just got the 26 slash 6 size, the J Burroughs brand 2500 pack and I'm pretty sure this is like $1.50. Next I got these Papermate Ink Joy pens. They're just the fashion one they come with 10. The colours are just pink, orange, purple, blue and green. I just find coloured pens really nice to use when making notes. I got the Officeworks brand ones last year but they fully broke. These were like $3 I think. Next I just have some normal coloured Papermate Ink Joy pens. It comes with 10. I just have black, blue and red. Two red, four blue and four black. These again they're the same price as these. I also got two erasable pens. My brother has the black ones and we're gonna have one black one and one blue one each because he wants to test them out. But these ones I'm not gonna lie these are really expensive. I think it was $3 for two. I love the way they write. I had these last year but they ran out halfway through the year so that's why I have the Papermate Inkjoy ones. Next I got this pencil case. So for design this year we have to have like a small pencil case for our external exams or something. So my teacher said that my pencil case that I had last year which is like was slightly bigger than this one and he was like that's way too big you need to get a smaller one. So I got a smaller one. It's a lot nicer. It's like this textured material. It was $7 from Officeworks. It is just the Otto brand. Also fits a lot so yeah I really like it. Next I got this office pad. Last year I always forgot to bring my office pad because we need to bring our own paper for exams now. So I just have this so that I don't forget and hopefully I actually bring it to my exams. This is just 50 pages, 8 millimeter faint ruled. It's A4 it's just kedgy. I think it's like $2. Next I got this A4 notebook. It's spiraled. If you're going to high school I highly recommend that you only get spiral books because I got the books that have the like non-spiral side and they always ripped within the first two terms. These are really durable but this is just the J Burroughs brand. This was like $2 but I just got the grey colour because I just like neutral colours but this is just what it looks like. Next I have this 128 page spiral grid book. This is just a 5mm grid ruled. These are both for math so to make it easier for me to study this year for maths especially I'm gonna have my exercise book to write all of my notes and equations in and then when I'm doing textbook work and like actually putting those equations and stuff into practice I'm gonna have this grid book just so that when I'm studying I don't have to flick through all my equations and stuff and I can easily just access it in this book so these are my maths books next I got this really nice binder it's color hide so last year I used a display folder and I just chucked all of my sheets in together and it got really unorganized and just disgusting so this year I have gotten this binder it's like this nice flimsy material and it goes really thin as well so it's not like those big binders that always break and are like gigantic so this is really nice I'm gonna take this in my bag and I can easily organize all of my paper I also have sleeves in my other binder that I already have that I'll put in here so that I can just slide my paper in it just has this little pocket here I love the black color this was five dollars from Officeworks so to go with that to organize all of my subjects I got these a4 colored dividers these are like a plasticky kind of material so they're not going to rip. This just has 10 tabs. They were $1.50 from Officeworks. Some of them were really expensive and really ugly, but I thought these were the cutest ones and the best price as well. This isn't part of my stationery, but for my laptop, I'm going to be using this to store it. So in the front, I will get all of my adapters and stuff and chargers and put them in there. And then my laptop will go in this big section. Last year, I used that stupid Acer Travelmate laptop. If you haven't seen it in my videos, I bought my own laptop. It's like a BYO device, so I get to keep it after school and 
it's just so much better. I'm gonna be doing a what is on my laptop very soon. I just have to organize a few more things on there. But yeah, this is really nice. I got this from Kmart. It was on sale for like five to ten dollars. That is all the stationery that I have to show you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below what videos you want to see from me in the near future. And also, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe in the corner or under the video. Also, there will be a what is my school bag coming next week, so definitely stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night, evening or morning, whatever time you're watching this. Stay safe and hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys! Thank you.